turning now to other news from Silicon Valley superstar to a Texas federal inmate. That is the staggering fall from grace tonight for Elizabeth Holmes. The founder of tech startup Theranos arrived at the federal prison camp in Bryan, Texas this afternoon to begin her 11-year sentence for fraud. Her incarceration at the minimum security prison marks a drastic change in lifestyle for the once tech luminary. She will be sharing a cell with up to three other inmates and will be trading all of her signature all black attire for a prison issue gray jumpsuit. Joining us now with more on all of this is News Nation correspondent Rich McHugh. It is a stunning fall. Absolutely right. It's just a totally stunning fall from Grace. She was the youngest self-made billionaire. Her company, Theranos, was valued at more than $9 billion until the world realized it was all built on a hoax. And today, she reported for prison. Earlier today, Elizabeth Holmes entered this minimum security women's prison in Bryan, Texas, to begin her nearly 11-year sentence. Holmes lost her last-ditch appeal to overturn her 2022 conviction on conspiracy to commit wire fraud against investors, among them billionaires Rupert Murdoch, Oracle co-founder Larry Ellison, and former Education Secretary Betsy DeVos. She touted the fact that her company had developed a revolutionary blood testing device that could detect multiple diseases with a single drop of blood, all a hoax. It's an epic fall from grace for Holmes, who by 34 was worth an estimated $4.5 billion. The former Theranos CEO was once a media darling, gracing the pages of Fortune magazine in her trademark black turtleneck and giving interviews in a seemingly affected deep voice. Years we've reinvented the traditional laboratory infrastructure. During her trial, Holmes married Billy Evans and had two children, the second, a baby girl, born after her conviction. Today, the Stanford dropout and mother of two has a net worth of zero and will be known as inmate 24965-111. For the next 135 months, Holmes will serve her time in this prison 100 miles outside of Houston where she grew up, a far cry from the world stage she had become accustomed to. Her day will start early. She'll start at roughly 6 o'clock in the morning. She may have a job in the morning that could be scrubbing toilets. She will most likely exercise at some point throughout the day. She'll have time and she will program. She will invest in programming that will enable her to shorten her sentence. She will have ample time. People are surprised at how much time people actually have in a, in a minimum security camp. It's her husband and children can visit on weekends and on holidays. Wonderful to see your family, but it's devastating. I know from experience to see prisoners leaving their children Families going into the parking lot, the prisoners going back to the compound. It's a very emotional day. Now, experts we spoke with earlier said she will likely not serve the, all the full 11 years that she could get out in, say, six or seven years based on good time. Elizabeth? Still, it's six or seven years behind bars. All right, Rich, thanks so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.